guys, it's Jessie V, and I'm here with Mandy V. Hey, yo. And we got our <laughs> Halloween looks going on here. I am Crazy Bat Lady. And Mandy The has... Pumpkin Queen. Yeah. This is exactly the look that we had going on last October 1st. Yeah. I'm just trying to, like, make a whole tradition. Signature outfit right tradition. here. Tradition. And you match the background, too. Represent. Loving the background, the colors. I dig it. Prime. So, in today's video, we are going to be calling some more cursed and creepy numbers. We did this, I think, two years ago, and half of those numbers we called did not work. So I was lucky enough to find an article that was written in 2019, thank goodness, that has numbers that actually do work, or so they claim to work. So we're gonna try these. We've never tried any of these before, and I'm really nervous when the phone rings and you wonder if someone's gonna actually pick up. Yeah. The question is, last time did I block my number? Don't Never. do it. Don't. Don't do it. Don't block my no, number? No, don't block your number. Don't block your number. In case we get a call back. Oh my gosh, well, I'm yeah. so nervous. So the first cursed and scary number is 951-572-2602. And apparently this number is linked to the SCP Foundation. And if you don't know what that is, because I didn't when I was researching this, it's an organization <laughs> founded to secure, contain, and protect strange or paranormal objects, creatures, and people. Oh, cool. So it's a number you call if you see like an alien or if you have paranormal activity in your house or if you suspect someone's a vampire anything paranormal you call this number and apparently they come and deal with the problem for you is this like real it's a creepypasta some people say it's real some people say it's just so if somebody actually answers could you tell them that you're worried that your sister's a vampire yeah and they'd be like we'll be right there okay but I don't want a stake in my heart <laughs> yeah oh my gosh imagine if they actually came like prepared they probably would like make sure that I am first. Yeah. So I'm not afraid. Do it. So okay. be like, I'm worried that my sister's a vampire. She's really nice though. <laughs> Please stand by while we complete your long distance call. You have reached the SCP Foundation, Southern California, Division 19. Please leave a message including date and time of incident, location of incident, and a description of the incident itself. Thank you. Hi, hello, it's October 1st, 2019, and I'm calling to report that I think my sister is a vampire. She's just been showing a lot of signs, and I cooked her some pasta yesterday with garlic in it, and she like absolutely flew across the room, so I think she might be a vampire. If you can call me back and tell me how we're gonna fix this. She's actually really, really nice, so we don't want to kill her. We just want to take away her vampirism. Thank you, bye. <laughs> okay, so the next haunted number is 408 634 806 and it says there's a lot of rumors about this number but a lot of people think it's a red room number and I can't go into detail about what that is but basically if you know stuff about the deep web a red room number is basically when you call this number they find your location they come and kidnap you take you into a room and torture you in front of people watching on the deep web if you call them yes Okay. We're gonna do this. But I don't know if we should do this. I don't think this is gonna be real. How about I, I'll block this number. Oh my gosh. I think these are just like creepypasta numbers that don't actually harm you. You don't okay. know. I'll block this number. How about that? <laughs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> No, no. I heard galaxy. I heard all is well that ends well. Creepy. If uh, I disappear, <laughs> it's not an accident. <laughs> okay, the next one is 828-756-0109. It says this number is a true mystery. It's based in North Carolina. It says if you call, you hear ear splitting noises of a man's voice frantically relaying what sounds like a message coded. <laughs> Apparently, if you decode what he's saying, it translates to death. Zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 zero,
<laughs> Ew, that was super like alieny. If he's taking all this time to code something that means death, why doesn't he just say death? I don't know, because he could be in a situation. That made me feel really sad. Yeah, like you felt bad for him. Yeah, I really did. It seems like some kind of like Area 51, like. Ew, like that's yeah. where he was. And yeah, because that's what it, it was like. <laughs> That was a good reenactment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> this next one is 407-734-0254. And this one actually really scares me to call because this is a real number for a clown um, that you can call to go to your birthday party. His name is Wrinkles the Clown. He's in, what's FLA? Is that Florida? No. FLA? Isn't Florida spelled Yeah. <laughs> We don't do geography, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Is Naples in Florida, right? Wrinkles the Clown. According to the Washington Post, which is a newspaper, accredited newspaper, it says, he will make an appearance at your party or gathering, he'll prank your friend, or he'll even scare your misbehaving kid what? for the low, low price of a few hundred bucks. He's in his 60s, which would explain the wrinkles. I think it's definitely too old to be clowning around. <laughs> Oh I think it is though, like it's creepy. It says, leave him a message and he'll call you back. Okay, can I leave a message? Uh, you reach Wrinkles the Clown. Well, I'm not here to take your call. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. <laughs> Hi there, um, I was just calling because I have a child, my child, who is a very, very naughty boy, and I need him to be scared straight by you, and I know that's one of your services, so I would like details, information on how you go about doing that, and what the process is there, I would like to know it all, so please call this number back, and I can't wait to hear from you, Wrinkles, have a good day. Now they have my number. <laughs> that's great. So this next number is 786-519. 3708. Apparently this number is linked to a video game called Hotline Miami 2, which I think I've heard about, never played it. And it's weird because their Twitter account has just been tweeting this number since 2012 without any context. Let's see what it's about. Do you know this game? No. We are 50 playing together. We march. That was weird. But how would anybody know that's for a game? Unless, like, you know the game. The next one is 858-651-5050. This one is really, really freaking people out because when you call, you'll hear a bunch of random sentences made by these two people. One is a male, one is a female. The sentences don't make any sense. It's like these people are just sitting there saying these poetic sentences that just don't match together at all. And it's the lack of context that makes what you hear so unsettling. <laughs> Fishing in a mountain stream is my idea of a good time. After the dance, they went straight home. The hostess taught the new maid to serve. The show was a flop from the very start. There was water in the cellar after the heavy rain. They're not listed in the new phone book. A large size in stockings is hard to sell. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. Smoke poured out of every crack. Serve the hot rum to the tired heroes. <laughs> Those words were the cue for the actor to leave. The play seems dull and quite stupid. The frosty air passed through the coat. The crooked maze failed to fool the mouse. A saw is a tool used for making boards. Try to have the Mice board is done. <laughs> Apparently it goes on for six minutes. Strong. Six minutes. And it's just gibberish. Like it's just sentences that don't make any sense. Why? I don't know. The next number is 701-347-1936. Apparently if you call this number, it's said to be correct and once you listen to the voicemail, it makes you act um, very erratically and changes like your, your mind makes you crazy and you will die within 24 hours of calling it. Great. All right, so let's I guess call we'll find this. Out. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Sarah? Sarah? Maybe it asked for your name so it can come get you. That like made me feel sick. But I'm not Sarah, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sarah. That one actually genuinely gave me a bad vibe. Why? It made me feel sick like all of a sudden. I got a headache. <laughs> 
dress. My heart just stopped. So this one is 978-435-0163 and apparently this is the most um, cryptic of all of them because everyone's very confused by this number. When you call, you'll hear a man sobbing. It's a loop of a man whimpering and crying. And if you listen, it sounds like he's in a cave or a sewer. Periodically, you'll hear something screech that does not sound human. So last one, guys. Let's see what happens. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sounds like he's laughing. You <laughs> can't. It's kind of sad, but also yeah. nobody cries like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyways though, this is the first time all the numbers worked. Alright all right. guys, anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna be doing a couple videos over on Mandy's channel. I will link that down below, but it's all Halloween spooky stuff, so be there or be somewhere else. <laughs> anyways, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.